Welcome back to Keras Investment, where investments are made simple. Guys, today we're discussing Ford Motors, one of America's most known car manufacturer in the world. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is because we have slowly seen the price of Ford stock slowly crossing over. You know, it breaks 10, then it breaks 12, then it breaks 14, and then it breaks 15. Then we start seeing it stays around this price. We see for the day we saw it breaks 1504, but then we have a pullback. This is very typical um, for Ford. But take a look at the volume. Volume is over 35 mil, which is kind of in the ballpark of what we normally see Ford and GM, what I'm looking at right now. But in terms of Ford, right, Ford is doing extremely well in the EV world. They're putting a lot of investment down, same as General Motors as well. Now, the reason why I wanted to, I want to discuss Ford and General Motors at the same time, because these two companies are one of America's most loved and known across the globe. Now, Ford Motors in the last year we have seen came from like $6 per share up to $15. It had a great um, run for anyone that invested in 2020. You have made more than 100% on your investment. If we go back in the last three, four years, I've been invested in Ford for a very long time from before I was doing it daily. Around that time, I was having my regular job. So basically, you just put money in Ford. You know, okay, it's just going to stay there. It won't make a big splash, but it was safe because you weren't looking at the stock market. That is what Ford used to do for most people. Now, the reason why I want to point this out, guys, if we look in the last year or two, we have seen that Ford have made a few plays. Now, we take a look at the factory that they're um, invested in Germany. We saw on the partnership with Volkswagen. There's a lot of stuff that Ford is doing in the EV world to prepare themselves for the future. We take a look at the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Ford F-150. These are beautiful cars. These cars will sell in the future. Ford F-150, I believe, is one of the most sell um, trucks in America. So just imagine if they have an EV version with all the options, um, the features, it will definitely compete in that space for years and years to come. So this is why I think Ford is a great buy. Now, if we're comparing Ford, now take a look at General Motors. Now, the next thing you look at right away, in the last year, we have seen the stock price was in the low 20s, but then we saw it breaks as high as $60 per share. This is a great run for GM. In the last 12 months, GM have doubled in share price. If you guys were distracted by the EV world, it goes on the radar. I know, I know, I have to agree. We have been selling and buying EV stocks such as Tesla, such as Neo, for quite some time, and the return has been very lucrative, so we missed out in a few buys. But there's still time, guys. There's still time for GM. There's still time for Ford, and there's definitely still time for Volkswagen. I will make another video in terms of Volkswagen, but Volkswagen have invested $40 billion in EV tech overall. They're one of the most companies that invested the most in that space. But the reason why I want you to take a look at GM is that the Bolt E um, is selling like crazy. The Ford Mac E is selling. The F 150 orders are coming through. Now, they did miss a small amount on their reports, but do not let that discourage you. In the next half of this year, I think the sale will pick up. And keep in mind, well, guys, a lot of self employed people normally use the Ford trucks or the GM trucks. These guys are not doing the same type of work. As what they normally do because business has been slow for everyone so sale sales will be down as well for trucks um to be orders and stuff like that it's only common sense anytime i make huge sale on high volatile stocks such as marine software and such as neo and those guys i put a small amount aside into a traditional company such as apple but such as ford um such as gm such as hp amd i invested in those companies as well they're slow growth but it's less time consuming to follow the market. The price won't really change. So this is why I urge you guys do some research into Ford, do some research into GM, do some research into Volkswagen. If you want to bet on one of those three guys, those are the safest pick you can make right now. Now, if this video makes sense to you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And definitely remember, do your research to make sure that when you're investing, you're investing with common knowledge. Now, until next time, guys, peace out.